Today our topic is passive low pass filters. As I said in the previous video, in electronics, a filter is nothing but a circuit which filters out the desired output out of some given input. And if this filter is made out of some passive elements like resistor, inductor and capacitor, it is said to be passive filter. And now in this low pass filter, it should allow only signal of low frequencies and stop input of high frequencies. Now in this circuit, this resistor and capacitor are connected in series and output is taken across this capacitor. Now we know that capacitor reactance of this capacitor is given by 1 upon 2 pi fc where f is frequency of our input signal and c is capacitance. When this frequency is high, capacitor reactance is low and voltage drop in this capacitor is also low. So there is minimum output when frequency is high. But when frequency is low, this capacitor reactance will be high and output in this capacitor will also be high. So we can find maximum output across this capacitor. So when we draw a graph between frequency of input signal and output voltage, for low frequencies we can find maximum voltage and it decreases with increase in the frequency. We can get same output by connecting an inductor with series in register and taking output across this register. Inductor reactance is given by 2 pi fl where f is frequency of our input signal and l is inductance of this inductor. When frequency is high, capacitor reactance, inductor reactance will also be high and voltage drop in this inductor will also be high so that voltage drop in this resistor is low. So when frequency is high we can find minimum output but when frequency is low this inductive reactance will also be low and voltage drop in this inductor will also be low and we can find maximum output. So when frequency is high we can get minimum output and when frequency is low we can get maximum output. So these two circuits will act as low pass filters.